Well, 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 we did pretty well, well, well today. Look at this, guys. Ceiling is done. Not sure if you could see it or not, but that's a lot of e-matching to do up on stage and big guys like us on stage. And we lost the uh, the cat today. Pat went home pretty early. He's got to go see his old lady. And uh, Kenny and I ran the ran the ceiling, and Donnie cut all the boards and set them up for us. Yeah. He's yeah. loving looking up there. He's counting the knots. How many are up there? <laughs> you were supposed to count them knots before. There's actually not too many on there. That's how she looks. Looks pretty darn good. We got one gable end to do and we're hoping we had enough. Turns out the stuff we bought that was six inch isn't quite six inch. It's coming out to like five and a quarter all said and done. But hey, tis what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. So we're going to run with it. We're happy. Kenny cooked up some stuff today in the smoker. We had a nice visit from some people today and Kenny was smoking all day. He's got a habit of smoking. <laughs> that is some good. We tried a couple pieces. They are edible. We've got they the ribs still on the edible. smoker. But he's got smoked sausage and what else you got? Uh, rack of ribs out there. Right. Rack of ribs. Wow. Dry rub. Wow. Dry rub. Yeah, Sauce. this is sausage that Donnie is in love with. We made it on the smoker. We're just warming it up now. Warming it up on the old we wood stove that Ken made. Got a little busy. Yeah, but we got this place cleaned up a little bit. As you can see, we still have this piece of staging in. We're going to use that to do the gable end wall. And tomorrow we got some serious work to do, cutting in soffit vents. And um, yeah, we're going to start up. We got to get, we really got to get the outhouse finished. We're going to have three guys working on that tomorrow, Donnie. Um, Donnie's going to get some help for once. He's never had any help. Uh, no, I know it, but... You know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> you know, how many people can work on an outhouse together? <laughs> Who knows? But we'll at least get the get the roof on it, and get yeah. it finished boarding, which is almost done now. I guess we got to cut a piece of roof, don't we? Yeah. I noticed one of those pieces might not be long enough. That's not good. So. We'll have to stretch one then. <laughs> so, I don't know. We may, we'll get it covered anyway with something so it'll be uh, weather tight inside. Those of you guys in the comments that are asking about Stevie, Stevie come down with like a pretty bad flu. He's not doing well. So, thoughts and regards and nice comments towards Stevie. No mean comments, guys. <laughs> so, we're hoping he can get up here and blow his mind at what we got done because he's. He's as good a guy as they come, guys. And yeah. that Yankees bag, you guys all give him a hard time. Sure he would be too good on the oh, he wouldn't have been good on the stage, but he'd have done it. He's a trooper. Yeah. Yeah, and he wouldn't yeah, have even complained. Have it, he wouldn't have complained. Yeah. But um, that Yankees bag that you guys all give him a hard time, we do allow it because it was the only team that drafted or signed them out of college. Uh, Stevie was one of the greatest baseball players in the history of Maine. Still holds all sorts of. of um, National American records in college baseball, main records in baseball, records at St. Joe's. He was an incredible, he had 24 home runs in 40 games and batted like 500 and slug, his slugging percentage was like past Babe Ruth's, so it was like 1,200 or 1,100 or whatever. But <coughs> the Yankees signed him and he went down Tampa and played with them and Doc Gooden was his coach and he played with Robinson Cano and, and a bunch of those guys. So. When he brings that Yankees bag, we don't take offense. You know, it's not a New England thing, but um, he's a big Red Sox fan himself. But, but we uh, we look at it as that's pretty cool. He got that from the Yankees as a player. So, all right, Donnie, what's going on this morning? Well, I got up before. Well, I did. It was daybreak when I got up. But this is uh, last day Kenny's going to be in camp. He's leaving this morning and. Uh, so I told him when he came, I'd treat him to some homemade donuts. So that's what I'm trying to whip up here this morning. And uh, things are going pretty good, I guess. Got the flour and all the dry ingredients mixed, and I just mixed up the wet ingredients. And I'll mix those two together. 
and uh, wait for the fat to get up to temperature. We see if we can do something with it. Well, that's the plan. Hopefully they'll taste all right. If not, nobody's going to complain about it because they would never get them again. <laughs> you excited, Kim? <laughs> yeah, first donuts made inside the camp. <laughs> yeah, first time in this camp. Well, that's a we made them in the we made them down the old trapper's cabin down below uh, when Brandon was up helping us and they probably didn't enjoy them, did they? No, they didn't. No, they, they loved them. Like, at least they said they did. You yeah, know. yeah, you know. So, you know, sometimes you have to lie, you know, just to keep the ball rolling, <laughs> keep the cook happy. Yeah, this first one is a little trick. A little trick to it. A little trick to it. Well, Ken's taking off. Ken, we can't thank you enough for yeah. all your creations. <laughs> we got it done, so. Yeah. We never thought you were going to be a woodworker, did you? No, no. no. <laughs> going to be diverse in this world, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But the wood stove is just exceeding all of our expectations, right, Donnie? Yeah, sure is. <laughs> He's got an order. For one lot, already. A lot of comments from people. He's already got an order for one already. If you guys are in the market for a custom made wood stove, it's not what he does for a living, obviously, but he can do it. And he uh, he built us a corker. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe, I don't know. What do you think, Ken? Should, can't, can't hurt for people to ask, right? Exactly. <laughs> yep. It yep. can be, good thing about it, it's custom. You can make it any size, yep. Yep. wild to wild. Yeah. She's gonna hold off them bubblegum welds he put yeah. on. No, just kidding. Yeah. Just got well edit. You should, edit. Zoom, you should zoom right in on the welds. <laughs> I could. Yeah. That sucker ain't going anywhere. No, you could see. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. But we gotta I say can. goodbye to Ken. We can't thank you enough, Ken. Two sticks of two sticks of wood in there yesterday. Kept that thing hot well, all day. Seven to yeah. nine this morning. We finally started the fire again. Just to burn the trash. Pretty yeah, much comfortable. Yeah, it's still comfortable. Last night. Yeah. 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 I'm glad we get that done though. That looks yeah, great. I'm glad we get that seal. Yeah, that that I could not have done alone. Now that we're so long, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good thing you're leaving the jigsaw because we need it already. The first cut. <laughs> First cup, we need the jigsaw. <laughs> Good, glad I helped. Kenny, we can't thank you enough, buddy. Thank you, Joe. Awesome. Yeah, honey, thank you. Yeah. For really, yeah. really appreciate it. I have to Make sure it. you get no less than $10 a donut. That's what they're going for, okay. market value. Yeah. Well, 100, 120 a dozen. <laughs> so, yeah, almost, two, almost make it worth your it. Your buddy. Yeah. Your buddy Nate would pay twenty. Oh yeah, he would. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to rub it in with him to send some pictures. <laughs> Sister will pay about fifteen. Yeah, yes. Get top dollar for him. <laughs> you got to recover from Pat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe, put that in the spice rack. Oh, nice. What is it? Next time, some Memphis bell. Oh, great. Thank you. Never have too many spices. No. All right. I see if I can get lost in the way yeah. out. I don't think you can. No. I found my way in. I should be able to find my way out. I think you're good. You're good. Do you want to go over it again? Or? No, I get the text if I have to go back. Through, okay. But I think it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, I think. All right, guys. I'm gonna make. Jenny, sure thanks, buddy. All right. Shoot we'll us a text when you get back. All right. We'll be in touch. Appreciate right. it. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you, Ken.
we walk down in there and that brook dumps into Big Brook Lake. And you're gonna have to hike down in there a little bit. I can't but it's a no no bird, but we have some awesome fishing spots. This place has gotta have incredible fishing spots. Because the more I look around, like we went over here and like the bottom of every valley had a beaver park. Oh there. yeah. Oh they yeah. Gotta have trout, oh right? yeah. Oh, you and remember like those fish I was showing you? That, that was yeah. that's beaver pond. It's crazy. And like last year with all that high water, or this year, and all that water, I bet fish have run up. Right. A long ways. Yeah. So. And it, it looks awesome. Like, oh, it is. And it, it looks it, like you can catch a, a trout anywhere up here. Well, the, the best part to me is um, everybody fishes right at the road. Right. You've yeah. got, you've oh, got yeah. to find that, you know, just a hundred yards in the woods yeah. is, you know, a long ways for most people. I Where we were, there was a pile of those and it was low water, but it was all these big boulders and just eddies right around them. And you could see them just boiling. Oh, and I'm like, there's not even any water right now. Ah, where you were the other day? So, yeah, where we were just, oh, just yesterday. Huh. Just yesterday. Was, do you guys come up a lot of spring fish? We do. We do. I mean, not, not as much. Um, you know, the kids still being in school and stuff, but my brother and I do. We haven't seen Taylor yeah, well, yeah, right? he, he was just he was just with us. Yeah, he, but he was he hasn't stopped in. We, 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 we figured we made him mad about he, something. Oh heck no. Oh, <laughs> heck no. no, this time of the year he's got the fever to be he doesn't want anybody to have the advantage on him. Hunting? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, hey, really? there's not even any deer around here. <laughs> Take those dump trailers, they must have hauled gravel for four months. <laughs> And so as we're going by, I'm talking to Tate on the radio, and he goes, hey, do you want to stop and meet those guys? And so I go by, like, real fast, because he's up there. And so as I looked down, I saw your green. No way. And I go, and then it clicked. Because I'm like, Jared's hit. I'm like, yeah, I do want to stop. That's freaking job. Yeah. So I backed up. I'm like, what the, what the hell? And then, hell? then saw Steve. Where the hell it's a small world. Here? How small freaking world. small world, Steve? Yeah, and I right. went to school. Yeah. We went to school with your dad. He was the best basketball player on the team. These guys were all baseball players. Yeah, we were on the baseball. And team. those were all my friends. I didn't have. Any yeah, you were, you were you were you were more of a baseball player. player. You, you were on the baseball team pretty no. much. Pat was just up here. You just missed Pat Lasard. Oh really? I yeah. haven't seen him. He was here. Oh my god. How big is he? He, he, he makes me got abs as big as my legs. You should have seen him throw a baseball. Oh my he was god. a pitcher. 94 miles an hour. Holy. Oh my god. Look, he he's is probably so what, 6'4", 6'5"-ish? Six, six, yep. I don't know if I even strong. got a picture of him this trip. Ah, did you? No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> he was too busy running his mouth. <laughs> Holy cow, that's good. Would you shoot that one? Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the paddle on that. My yes. team got to get a. Uh, who's gonna Who's gonna have the first one to mount? Let me you, Don. I hope Donnie. Right. We're, we're that trapping. would be cool. Donnie says he wants trap next year just to get some yeah, stuff right here. Get Get yeah. Tate. Go with Go with Tate. Really? He's He's really good. Have you trapped? Joey is good. We, Joey's a professional traveler. He caught so many fur. Right, but Tate knows the area. Yeah, yeah right. well, Tate knows the you'll area. be able to still take the same techniques and things, but oh, you he, know, know the area and then the loop. The, fur that the he loops are the best. Year. I'll show him the last year of traps. This is one year he trapped. Oh, 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 holy, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't talk to Tate. No, it's never right here. Oh my god. We, we make that photo black and white, and people think it's the 1800s. You really ought to have that block. Right, look at, look at all the sheds. Right look at all the sheds. What are so these are all Martin. Yeah. You want coyotes these out? Yeah. Yes, your cats. I only did coyote for 12 days because I, because it, it was just that early season. Listen, if you can catch a coyote, you can catch anything. Uh, that's the that's the yeah, thing. Those are the those are the hardest ones. People that know, because so that I only. I Jesus, have. That, you know what that looks like? That looks like those pictures in Cabela's of like the old uh, kid who refer trading posts right, and they were loading yeah, them on the boats right. and stuff. So that's uh, 36 coyotes in 12 days. I mean, that's just Martin crazy. and Fisher were worth too much, so I quit trying right away. Oh, yeah. Because you gotta, you got to get your Martin sets out. But this everything nice there, yeah, I, caught, I caught like 11 links. Yeah, those Fisher. Any My colors? Oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, st I didn't call the state. I told him once. I told yeah. him I'll never call him. No. But mean? we, uh, the, the only regret I have, we were just talking about this morning, is I didn't keep a couple of them real pale fisher. Yeah. Those are so Yeah, I, I like those. They're very unique. They were worth we, a piece um, of right, yeah. We kept a, my uncle, we coyote hunt at night. And 
he shot a real cool one and we kept the fur. Was it red? No, it's oh. like white and black. Whoa. Um, it was like the, whatever he calls it, the... Gotta set this up. Let's get on one side now. Yep. Yeah. Right there. Yep. We're gonna have to duck, are we? You know, Stevie's six foot two. You're not gonna have to duck. Beautiful. I don't think.
are so close on wire. Huh? We are so close on wire. Where's your other stud? Oh, I haven't got a cut oh. yet.
Yeah. <laughs> the quality of these tuba floors. Uh oh. You're getting into the bottom I of the barrel. Work. Look at the back on them. Yeah. But it's uh, either that or nothing. As long as the bark's not bigger than the bite, right? All right. You want a hand putting this up on out here? Yeah, I'm going to tip it up this way. Stevie's going to hit his head on this thing for every time he goes out to poop. You're probably heading for the woods. Yeah. Rather than use this. <laughs> wow, look at this corner. Oh, it's bad. What are you going to square it up? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to cut you a tree? Uh, That's what it looks like. This is like Joey making chicken soup out of chicken shit. Yeah, no kidding. Doing a good job. That's why I'm on that corner. Out the way. You gotta really pull it. Yep, now it's good. Okay, yep. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Joe or yep. that's Joey. Hey, how you doing? I see you got your saw blade back. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was that you guys? No. No, 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 no. It's the guys that took it, brought it back with you about two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, we saw it there. Yeah. Huh. Well, Richie was crying and complaining. And oh, oh, yeah. Really? Oh, he was having a fit. He oh, wanted it, didn't he? I don't know what Richie. he was going to do with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he was all well done. He wanted it and somebody took it? No, he he said he left it for you guys for an ornament. Oh, right, yeah. And uh, he promised it to you. Then somebody come down, to, the guys from the little red camp. Oh, here. yeah. It's because he had some wood that he gave them. Yeah. And they figured, well, hell, he sold the camp. And, you know, right, everything yeah. else is going. They ain't going to do nothing with that. I'll go put it on our camp for yeah. an ornament. So they took it. Oh, oh Richie oh, found yeah. out. Oh my goodness! Oh my he God! Was, he had a fit. Yeah. Real quick. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I had been down a couple times. You know, this wasn't even built. You guys just had a stack of lumber. And yeah. Oh, yeah. I just right. wanted to say hi and introduce yeah. myself. And yeah, I spent a lot of time right here. So wow. When I was a nice. kid, anyways. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, we nice. were gonna tear it down, but we're actually gonna leave it up. Are you gonna? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna try to fix it up. Like for trapping like, camp. Whatever, yeah, just yeah, whatever. We got a buddy that snores pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick him in there. <laughs> Come um. As you can see, I'm using up every bit of scrap that we have. We're running really low on boards. Don't think I got enough to finish it here, but that's why I'm using these sharp pieces and, and uh, getting rid of them. So that's, uh, it's just an outhouse.
Every day I've worked on this outhouse. It's either rained or heavy mist. And today uh, we have a light mist, but uh, so somebody's trying to tell me something. I think it's getting close to time to go for a moose ride, Donnie. Yeah, it is. I'm running out of boards anyway. <laughs> I got a piece. <laughs> 